right? Two beats. I think this is what I've been waiting on. Um, so without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and open it. This, ladies and gentlemen, should be... That was ugly. Okay. Let's set that aside. This just arrived from UPS. And yep, it is the iPhone 5. And it's all glory. All right, YouTubers, I'm here unboxing the new iPhone 5 in all its glory. Um, if you just want to look around the box, it's got iPhone 5 on the side, and it's got the Apple logo. And then we have the glorious iPhone 5. I chose the black one. I like the black one just because I just like the black one. And it's the 32 gig. So let's do it. We got the iPhone 5 here. Man. It's nice. We'll get back to that though. We got the uh, just the regular standard Apple. We got the uh, some info here. Set all of this to the side. Some info here. Classic stickers. Hello, how to set up, how to set the phone, easy setup guide, and uh, the quick start guide, and some new things for iOS 6 to go along with that. And so in here, now the interesting things, besides the phone, the phone is great, we'll get to the phone though. We have the um, lightning bolt, I'm sorry, not the lightning bolt, the uh, thunder cable. And so this um this cable is able to go, I actually show you, goes into the phone. Either way. That's nice. And so this is sadly the same length looks like as the models previous. So a lot of people were complaining about the length of the um charger, but there's really nothing we can do about it. I think they try to fit inside this little box. So that's just Apple for you. This hasn't changed any at all. That's still the same. And now we have the ear pods. These come with the case and uh, have a whole new design. And so these should be interesting. I'm ready, I'm ready to see what these sound like. Um, if I can open it. There we go. So these just tangle like that, and I'm sure nobody's gonna keep them perfectly in the box. And here we got these. Oh, these are nice. These are gonna be nice. And of course, the um, remote to it, so you can volume up, down. And I think if you hold it, it can um, even switch tracks. Mine never did that. The previous ones I had, I'll even show you these. Previous model. Mine had the remote, but it never uh, switched tracks. But yeah. And now to the iPhone 5. I'll go ahead and peel that off. And the back. And if you want to look at it, this is. This is just nice. Like I said, I like the black just because when I first saw the black, I was like, yeah. I had the black uh, 4S. This is the iPhone 4S. I mean, versus the white one, you really can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong at all. These are both uh, metal backs. And um, as you can see, like the phone is blacked out pretty much. It's rhodium all all around the bezel which was once silver and so now you just look how thin it is compared to the 4s and if you look on the bottom speakers charger port earphones for the ear for the ear pods up top we got the sleep awake button volume silent 
we got the uh, uh, volume down and volume up key. And you know what? I read somewhere that a lot of people were getting the um, these mixed up. Like the uh, volume up key would be down and the volume down would be up here. So yeah. And uh, I have at and so we got the um, micro sim tray. And so on the back we have the uh, two glass two glass plates. So yeah, the uh, black it just feels good. Like I don't I don't really think the black is gonna get as scratched as a lot of people think, but um, it's just smooth. And you have the um, kind of the glass looking Apple logo two to go with the black so that's nice overall it's gonna be um, another nice classic iPhone um, the new iPhone 5 and this one is running off 4G so that's gonna be a lot faster also you have the um, FaceTime is above the um, ear speaker and you have the um, sensor to the left of it and so if we just compare these we have the 4S on the top and the 5 on the bottom. A lot thinner. They said it was like 18% thinner, 20% lighter. I immediately felt the light. It's a lighter phone immediately. Time you pick it up, it's definitely lighter. And you know what? It makes you not even want to keep a case on this. A lot of people don't like the lightness, but for me it's like, you know, it just brings the sleekness to it. It keeps the sleekness of the phone. And uh don't even want to look at this. This is actually the 3GS, but just compare it to each other, how different, rounder, square. But yeah, you guys check out some more things on my YouTube page, and um, I'll be back to show you more on it.